If you are anything like me, you like new things. Even though you are very happy with the old stuff, you still like to look at the new things. And that's why before the weekend rolls out and the year is almost over, I decided to bring you a short feature on Zeta. Now, Zeta is the equivalent of what we've come to know as a theme for page builders, a theme that plays well exclusively with page builders. It goes from Elementor, DV Brizzy, Beaver Builder, you name it, and it does a very good job. And with it comes also a special, you can call it sites that you can import with Elementor. I'm going to show you how this works. And then after that, I'll also show you the link for the pro version. So this is another theme for page builders that's going into the arsenal that will make it just more complicated for you to decide what do you want to use. You can get the free version and the free version you are going to see can do quite a lot. Appearance and then into themes and then we say add new and then you just type in over here Zeta and then find Zeta over here and you install it currently running at 1.1.1 and activate and then let's let the party begin. You can click your get with started. I'm going to close that out. Let's look what happened here on the left in the dashboard panel. You will see here Zeta options. And that's the first thing I'm going to go and show you, which will be very familiar to you if you are used to Astra. Go to Zeta options, and then you will see your import starter site. Now these will only work if you are running Elementor. Any other page builder works very well with Zeta but this one is exclusively for Elementor. So we install the importer plugin, and then we go look at these demo sites that they have for us. Click on see library, and you'll see very soon why this is very reminiscent of Astra and what they can do with their starter sites. This comes for free and included in the Zeta theme, the free one, but you will see some of them are labeled as pro and they will be bringing in quite a number more for the pro version. Currently, I counted 24 in here and 19 of them available in the free version. So let's click on this one, Barber Shop, and then it will give us a preview of it. And again, I'm going to say if you've worked with Astra before, immediately you will feel the left is very familiar to starter sites because it's going to show you the demo then it's going to tell you which of these plugins need to be installed to run this one effectively. And if you want to do that, you click up here on install plugins. It's going to run through the installation. And after that, we're going to install the demo. And I say a guantera mera. It has finished now installing the plugins. And now next, you're going to install this site. Just to give you an idea of how this site looks, I really like the layout of what they've done here. Very, very, very beautiful layout. Nicely done, very minimalistic, but to the point. So nice starter sites. Sorry for using the word starter sites, but nice demo sites that you get with Zeta, especially the Zeta free. And then let's import this. Then we go look at the customizer. And after that, we will have a look at what comes with Zeta Pro. And there we go. Done. View the site. Let's do that, Nigel. Let's see what the site looks like. And it's a one pager. And personally, I've become a big fan of the one pager in the last year. It is far more impactful if done correctly, and it works very well on mobiles. People don't have to click around. So the one pager has become a favorite of mine. If you have a very big concern with, with very different aspects and you need all those pages, then we go for the standard pager. I call it a five pager. But in this case, I think a one standard page for this barbershop is more than enough and very beautifully done. And you've got these links that nice fluid scrolling to the different sections on the page. Let's hop back into the dashboard and have a look at the customizer. Go check out how the header works. I'm very impressed with the header for the free version. Well, site identity, yes, the normal site identity. I do like these bars with the colors, making it clear how these things have been divided up and the sections that come with them a little bit more of a visual cue. Layout and then go to header, which gives you an above header, a main header, a below header, and then a transparent header. The only limitation that you will find in the free version is that you will not have much color control 
over the menu, but there's still a lot of color flexibility for the rest of this theme. Now the main header is the one that you are currently seeing here. And here are the various options that you can cycle through to see how you would like your menu to display. That is the one with the logo at the top. Let's have a look at the logo on the right. And Bazinga. And you can test out the rest, give you an idea of the various header styles that you can apply to your main header. The above header allows you to add space at the top. This is again a very nice feature implemented that is very easy to execute. You can either add in the column up here the text or you can have a menu, search, widgets or social media. It's up to you what you would like to put there. And currently I have it on two columns. So you have on the left and then you can add on the right. And if your header isn't crowded enough, you can even add a below header. Yes, yeah, so let's go for the three column option. Let's add some text in that one. And then we'll just say something like, oh, there is something already being said. Let's add some more text. So we just have those placeholders so we can see how that will be looking when you go all out on your top header. You see, quite a lot of stuff that you can put in your header and this comes all for free. Then your transparent header, and for people who love transparent headers, this is going to make you very happy because, again, very nicely done. If you enable the transparent header, it's going to kind of fail in this instance because it is a dark header, but you will see it moving over that. So let's go back to the main header and we give it, let me just quickly look here, scroll down. Yes, we give it the dark because then our text should be white and we can go and change the text color of the others as well. So there you go, your transparent header. The sticky header, sticky header fans, that comes with the pro version. So a lot of stuff that you can change here, you can go through it, and I would say the best way to give this theme a test is just go check out the free version. And yes, a lot of stuff that is included in this, I can see its applicability and it will probably gain traction quite quickly because it is really made to play with page builders. I've tested it with the others as well, and it works pretty nice. Any feedback, you can also contact the developers and tell them any bugs that you find along the way. Let's have a quick look at what's going on at the Zeta site, which is wp.zeta.com. And if you are interested, please follow the link in the description below. Check it out there. In the pro version, what you're going to get is the normal extra goodies. You're gonna get a white label, sticky header, you have more control over your color and your background. And then a lot of stuff that comes with your dynamic content, such as your blogs and your WooCommerce menu styles, more header layouts. So you get a plethora of options to play with if Christmas doesn't bring enough goodies for you. You can check out, they are very proud of the WooCommerce integration here. A lot of things here. Pricing comes in a licensing system or as a lifetime version, you can get one site license three or unlimited. And then if you go to the lifetime, same deal, but then for lifetime supplies of great pleasure. So just like you were thinking the weekend is going to be a boring one, there is something new for you to try out. So give Zeta a spin. I'm pretty sure because it is still so new, we will find some bugs along the way. And I always say, you know, we can help make these products even greater. One interesting observation at this moment is how much stuff is coming out now that we used to pay dollars and dollars for many years ago. If I think of what this free version can do, you've got themes on theme for us in Water Market at this moment going for 60 US dollars. Whereas with Zeta, you get these demo sites plus all the other things that you can import for free. So I'm really curious how 2019 is going to be turning out because things that we used to pay for in the past is becoming free, and now the focus is add-ons and additional service. It's going to be very exciting here. So let me know what you think of Zeta if you've tested it out. I'm definitely going to be spinning it more out in 2019. This is JP here with Websites for Beginners.